Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to show selected values from multiple slicers. As you can see on my screen, I have two slicers for product and country and I have selected all the values from product and two values from country and here in the selected filter, it is reflecting the same. Now, if I add something in this filter, so if I add Germany, it is going to add Germany in the country filter. If I remove something from product, it is going to remove from the product filter. And if I clear the product filter, it will show no filter selected. Similarly, if I clear the filter from country, it will also show no filter selected. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve this. So let's start the video. I have taken a new report and here I have two filters product and country and here I have taken a table visual. Now let us create a measure to show the product and country values. So I will go to the table and right click and click on new measure. I will say selected filter. I'm going to use if statement. So if is filtered product. So I'm saying if the product slicer or the product column is filtered, in that case, I want to concatenate. I will use concatenate X as I want a list of values. And here it takes table as a parameter. So in the table, I'm going to give distinct of the product so this will give us the list of product that we have in this column. Next is expression. So I'm going to give the same column in the expression that is product. Next is the delimiter. Delimiter, you can give anything. It's basically a separator on which you want to separate two values in the product. So I want it to be separated with a new line to make it more clear and readable. So for the new line, I have to use Unicare 10. So Unicare 10 is basically the Unicode for the new line. I'm going to order it with product column and uh, I'm going to order it uh, in the ascending order. Now let's close the concatenate X. If the product column is filtered, then use this expression concatenate X to concatenate the list of products. Else if the product column is not filtered, then say filter selected. Let's close the bracket. So if I click on enter, this is the measure for the product. If I use this measure in this table, see it's saying selected filter, no filter selected. Now if I filter the product, let's say add this value, see it's saying value. If I add multiple values like Amarilla, so it's adding those values here with a new line separator and sorting it in ascending order. And if I clear this, then it says no filter selected. Now if I filter this country, nothing is happening because the measure is incomplete. Let's go to the measure again. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable for product. So this product variable will give us the list of product values. And if I copy this expression and reuse it for the variable country, just replace the product with the country column. So I've replaced it with the country column. Now this, now this second variable that is country is going to give us a list of countries with a line break sorting in ascending. Now let's say I am going to return product filters and here I am going to concatenate with this ampersand symbol. So product filter and then what I want is I want a line break. So I will say unicare 10. So after product there will be a line break and then after the line break I am going to concatenate again and show the list of product values. So after I have shown the product values in the product filter section, I'm going to concatenate again and I, I want to add two line breaks instead of one so that it separates the product filter with the country filter. I'm going to say repeat and I want to repeat this Unicare 10 which is a line break so it will repeat this line break twice and again I'm going to concatenate this with this expression I'm going to copy this expression in the next line I'm going to say let's say this is country filters and here I'm going to show the list of countries so if I click on enter now and let's check the values. Now you can see I have got the filters from country as well. So if I select something in product, it is going to show me the product filters. 
and if I select something in country, it will give us the country filter. So this is how we show selected values from multiple slices. So you can show selected filter values from multiple slices, not only two. To do that, you can copy this expression for each slicer and you can create variables for each slicer and then you can copy this expression and repeat the expression and change the filter name and filter list with this two line breaks. So this is how you can show the selected values from multiple slicers. I hope you like this video and you have learned something new from this video. So if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.